We are in Microsoft Exchange 2010. This also works in 2013. And we are going to export a mailbox to a PST file. And this can be done while the Exchange server is running. Uh, so you don't have to worry about bringing anybody down. And uh, just go ahead and open up your Exchange Management um, shell. And we're going to type a command in here to make this work. But first, we have to create a folder. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it uh, PSTs because that's what we're going to be putting in there are PSTs. And you don't, don't worry about the capitalization. You can do whatever you want there. Right click on that folder and go to properties and click on sharing. And from here, we'll click on share this folder and we'll do full permissions to everyone. Now you can lock down the permissions on the security tab if you want and that'll keep everybody from being able to get access to it. So uh, now that we have our PSTs folder, we're going to need to type a script. So find out from Active Directory what the name of the person's login is. Now we created a test login called admin net, so we're going to use that one. So in this particular uh, server, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new mailbox request. And the new mailbox request is, is uh, new dash mailbox request and then dash mailbox, the mailbox name right there, and then the path to where it is. All right, so this is the uh, local host, although in your case it may be a server name. I'm just going to use the, the, the name local host because it's, it's the local computer. So let's just make sure that that works first. So if we do whack whack local host, we should see a PSTs. Oh, there it is, PSTs shared folder so we'll double click on that and there's nothing in it right now so that's the folder we just created and shared and then we're going to call this pst file admin net.pst so let's go ahead and copy that command and go ahead and pause the video if you need to write that down and we paste it in and you hit enter now this could take a few minutes up to you know, hours to more than a day. It could take a long time to complete. It just depends on how big this particular uh, PST or, you know, how big the mailbox is going to be so it can export to that PST. So now it says that it is queued and we're just waiting for it to finish. And if you want to see what the status is, choose the Get Mailbox Export Request. So we'll paste that request command in. There we go. And it tells us whether or not it's completed. Uh, apparently, we've had some other ones in here. So here's our admin net one, and it says in progress. So there is uh, the status of our particular one. We've had some other ones that we've done in the past, and those have been already completed. All right, let's go back to our folder and see how we're doing. And there it is. There's our admin net PST file and it will expand until it's all completed and as soon as it said it's completed on this command when you go back in and type this command again then you know that it's all done and you can move it or you can go ahead and open it up and outlook whatever it is you want to do